Lots of words can describe kids. Naturally exuberant, naturally active, and naturally curious, are three phrases that Ken Holler, MD, Associate Professor of Pediatrics at St. Louis University School of Medicine, chooses to use. Natural excitement and curiosity are normal and healthy parts of development, but they present special challenges for child safety. Children don't usually spend much time thinking about how to stay safe and healthy. That's mom and dad's job. While scrapes and bruises are also a normal part of childhood, there are more serious threats, such as poisoning and burns. Keeping key first aid supplies handy for common injuries is a great first step in a child safety plan. Child safety, the top 10 first aid essentials your local poison control number. Almost 80% of reported poisoning cases involve children, and most of those are among children age 5 and under. Holler recommends placing the phone number for your local poison control center in your medicine cabinet and on your refrigerator, and programming it into your cell phone. The centers are open 24 hours a day and have a nurse on call who can tell you exactly what to do after you describe the situation, Dr. Holler says. According to the Centers for Disease Control, in a life-threatening emergency situation, dial 911. If the victim is awake and alert, you can call your local number or the national hotline, 1-800-222-1222, pain relief medication. Child safety choices include acetaminophen, Tylenol, and non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, or naproxen, Aleve. Monitor children's dosages carefully. For instance, if they're sick with a cough and congestion and you've already given them a medicine with acetaminophen, like a cold remedy, you don't want to give them another dose of Tylenol at the same time. An assortment of bandages. A 2-inch square sterile gauze pad can clean almost any wound, says Holler. In addition, have adhesive-free dressings, other sizes of sterile pads, or a roll of gauze for minor burns or kneecap scrapes. Tape and strip bandages in a variety of sizes work for cuts and blisters, and an elastic wrap like an ace bandage is effective for sprains. Soap for cleanup. For most wounds, cleaning with soap and water is good enough, says Holler. Always wash a wound before dressing it. You might also want to have an antiseptic solution or towel that's handy, and rubbing alcohol, which Holler says makes a good disinfectant. Antibiotic ointment. Choose today's gold standard, polysporin, or the old standby, bacitracin. For a large open wound on a frightened young patient, you can put the ointment on the bandage pad, instead of directly on the injury. Tweezers. Essential for the removal of splinters or dirt particles from a cut or puncture wound, tweezers should be wiped with alcohol before using. If possible, have both a pointed tip and a slanted tip pair. Itch relief. Choose a few different formats to cover all itchy bases. Calamine lotion is still a soother for poison ivy and the like. Over-the-counter OTC hydrocortisone cream is great for dermatitis-type skin rashes and irritations, while an OTC antihistamine like Benadryl, a cold symptom and nasal allergy mainstay, is handy for an itchy initial reaction to a wasp or bee sting. If your child breaks out in hives and has any throat swelling, signs of a serious allergic reaction, call your doctor immediately, instant ice packs. These disposable packs don't need to be kept frozen and are literally a snap to use to reduce swelling after an injury. A tooth preserving storage device. Should one of your child's permanent teeth get knocked out by accident, a product like Save a Tooth will hold and protect it on your way to the dentist, improving the chances of it being replanting. A sterile eye wash. This is handy to flush out any dirt or foreign particles that get into the eyes. Child safety, what to toss here are a few medicine chest items that can be cleared out to make room for the top 10 child safety items. Ipecac, a poison treatment. Ipecac is not recommended anymore, says Holler. Not only can Ipecac cause a number of side effects, it can also make the damage of certain harsh poisons worse. Each poison affects the body differently and needs a different treatment approach. Neosporin. This antibacterial ointment may cause redness or inflammation and has been largely abandoned in favor of polysporin or bacitracin. Aspirin is not recommended for children, unless specifically directed by your physician, because of the risk of a condition called RISE syndrome. Expired products. Check your medicine cabinet every three months and get rid of products that have reached their expiration date. It's not that they become toxic, but that the components break down, so they're simply no longer effective, Holler explains. If you notice that your product is only past the date by a week or so and you need it right then, go ahead and use it. Just make a mental note to replace it soon. This advice goes for both over-the-counter and prescription items. Taking time to ensure child safety is important.
With a carefully thought out shopping list and a trip to your favorite drugstore, you can easily outfit your medicine cabinet for most of life's little bumps along your child's road to discovery. Learn more in the Everyday Health Kids Health